Greetings, uh, members of the press. Thank you for your patience. I'm a minister, student minister, Abdul Rashidullah Mohammed from the Nation of Islam and the Grant, Oscar Grant Movement for Justice. And we just met with uh, DA O'Malley. And uh, to speak to that meeting and to answer questions, I'm going to bring forth Uncle Bobby, affectionately known as Uncle Bobby, Brother Cephas X. Johnson, the uncle and spokesman for the Oscar Grant family, Brother Cephas. Again, uh, again, thank you for being here. Um, I am, again, affectionately known to the community as Uncle Bobby. I am the uncle of Oscar Grant. Uh, first name is Cephas, last name is Johnson. And of course, uh, standing to my right is my sister Wanda, uh, Oscar's mother. And again, uh, further right is my wife, uh, affectionately known as Auntie B, uh, Sister Beatrice Johnson. Um, the meeting we just had with Nancy O'Malley, you know, was uh, an important step in this process of us becoming clear on the motives of what's really getting ready to happen. We're um, optimistic about, uh, right, let me add, rephrase that. We're, opt we're consciously optimistic um, about our meeting in the room and the investigative aspect of what's gonna get, you know, the journey that we're getting ready to go on in terms of um, holding Tony Baroni responsible for the murder of Oscar Grant. We're, um, clear on some of the um, naysayer statements concerning why this case was reopened. Uh, and so I think what I'd rather do now is just go ahead and pass it to my sister so that she can share a few words. Thank you. I'm the mother of Oscar Grant. And I want to again start out by saying justice delayed is justice denied and that we have been denied the justice that we deserve for 11 years now. When Oscar was first killed, the actions of the officers was not hidden. It was shown on video. And at that time, he should have been charged. We are here 11 years later expecting a charge. We're clear that the rumors and the things that we have heard by those speaking about the statute of limitations, we're clear about that. And we're clear to know that those statutes should not apply to Tony Peroni, that he should be held accountable for his actions. Far too long as a people of color, we have been denied our civil rights. We have been denied the things that we should have not been denied by an officer being charged for his actions. And so from the meeting today, we are clear that yes, there is a job that has to be done, but if it is done correctly and fairly, the officer will be charged. That's right. I That's stand right. today declaring mm -hmm. that Oscar did not die in vain, oh, yeah. that he was a catalyst for a movement that has been going on, and that because of him being a catalyst, his death should not die in vain, and the officer who took part, who instigated the incident, should be held accountable okay. for his actions. Right. Thank you. If there are any questions that you may have, we'll take one or two uh, before we leave. Uh, so feel free, state your affiliation and your name. Audrey Foreman, KPIX 5. Did DA O'Malley give any indication that she was planning to follow the law? I don't feel comfortable. Well, based on our conversation, in the space and time that we just spent together, I picked up that there is an investigation that's going to take place. 
and, and, and definitely there has been a promise of a robust, thorough, transparent investigation. One concern that we definitely had was the transparency of this investigation and the communication being established. So those two answers to our you know, concerns uh, has been answered. And so again, yeah, again to your question, we're, we're cautiously optimistic that a thorough investigation will take place. Anyone else? Also, Bobby, uh, Melissa Colorado with NBC Bay Area News. Did uh, anybody on that team of investigators or uh, your attorney Nancy O'Malley herself, she give you a timeline at all? Because this is something that you guys have been waiting so long for. Will the wait be extensive? Are we talking about months into 2021? Yeah, well, we did stumble into that question, not stumble, but we did ask that question because that is a concern because we done already waited 11 years. And of course, we were concerned about another 11 years of waiting. Um, but she did make it clear that the gathering of information has begun and that there is not going to be a delay in putting this together to bring forth the decision of whether charges should be filed against Tony Corona. So uh, there has been stated uh, and a promise that it has been will be a thorough investigation. Did they give you any indication of where Peroni is right now? Is he on the state? Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, the um, the the conversation would more or less be directed to her concerning his whereabouts. I mean, we as a family and community here don't know, but she can answer that. All right, thank you all. And look, we gave a press conference two or three weeks ago and we noticed there was no airplay or any kind of um, response. So hopefully you have enough today to share that word uh, with the broader community, okay? What is the number question? Uh, there apparently, you said one it, or two, you want one more? We can do one more. One more question. No one has. Okay. Thank how, you. How are you guys holding up? I mean, it has been 11 years. Um, is, yeah. How are you holding up? I mean, is it is it? Just speak to that. I guess. How do you hold up? You carry a child for nine months, uh -huh. and your dream is that, or your vision is that, your child will bury you not you bury your child. That's right. There's not a day that I don't wake up and think about Oscar. Right. You know, Oscar was the person who had a child of his own who will not get to see her graduate from high school, who will not get to see her married. And so how am I holding up? It's been a struggle and it continues to be a struggle. You war with it every day. One day you might wake up smiling about something that I wake up smiling about something that Oscar did. Maybe the next day I wake up crying because he's not here. Because I don't get to spend not one more birthday with my son. You know, that last day of his life, I don't get to see him anymore. I don't get to hear him wish me happy birthday. And so, how am I holding up? It's a struggle from day to day. And time does not change that uh, life that you birthed into the world that you expected to see for many years going on. I didn't get the opportunity to see Oscar evolve into the person that he could have evolved into because his life was cut short. And so you never, you never get over the death of your child. And if I can add, um, my father, our father, was really pained with the murder of Oscar Grant. And he had left this earth in that anguish. Uh, Oscar's grandmother, our mother, still talks about Oscar in a painful way. Our entire family has been impacted. Oscar's sister, Shante, cannot even talk about or show her face concerning issues surrounding what happened to her brother. And then we have his daughter who loved her daddy and yet misses him and searches for love. That same type of love that her daddy gave her and yet she cannot find that 
through the, because of the loss of her father. And for me as a brother, right, an uncle, to see my sister suffer daily and develop various health conditions because of the love of her son um, to this very day is, is painful for me as a brother and my sister, my siblings also. And so how we're holding up, getting justice for Oscar That's will right. be some source of help That's for right. us to heal right. from this gaping wound. That's right. Getting justice for Oscar That's right. will be some source of healing from this gaping wound. That's right. Uncle Bobby, one last question. Did the death of George Floyd, was that ever brought up? We know from video that Peroni was kneeling on Oscar, and as we've seen with the George Floyd incident, we've seen how kneeling on someone's neck can be deadly. And yeah. I'm wondering if that was brought up at all. Uh, um, I won't get into all the details, but it was brought up. Uh, because seeing what happened to George Floyd really reopened our wounds because the exact same knee was put on Oscar's neck. And sadly, with the vicious hand pushing on his face, cracking the bones in his face, was very painful for us just to see George Floyd go through the exact same thing. And our nephew had suffered that 11 years before. So yes. Yes. So we're, you know, we're struggling. But again, you know, as stated, um, justice. Getting justice for Oscar has become so important because families can't heal from this without getting justice. That's right. All right, thank you, everyone. Good job.